I was literally working on another video and then I got informed about something really big that just happened on Sandbox. So you know what? I was going to say scrap that. That video is done. This is the video that's going out on the channel today. I am on a new GitHub page on Sandbox's uh, re well, this is a new repo. Uh, but yes, this is called Sandbox.public. And if you've seen by the title, that basically means Sandbox is now going open source. What? Okay, so this is the new page that I got informed about, and it has a bunch of stuff on it. So first off, we're just going to go with the description, which is probably what you already know. Sandbox is a modern game engine built on Valve Source 2 and the latest .NET technology, which is really cool if you're a programmer. It provides a modern intuitive editor for creating games. Now, the newest part is below this lovely image of a barrel that's right here. If your goal is to create games using Sandbox, please start with the, you know, the getting started guide, which is how to get started creating games on Sandbox. But it says this repository is for building the engine from source for those who want to contribute to the development of the engine. What? It seems like Face Punch has decided pretty much for any developer that wants to take out the time to help improve Sandbox to download the source code and fix it yourself <laughs> or or add whatever and and help improve it in any way possible if you're a graphics programmer or maybe there's something that you like to see as a feature you could just go and take out the time to do it yourself if you like o okay <laughs> like what um they have a couple of other different things here like how to get the engine itself it says that you can download and install the sandbox editor directly from steam even though they have this link and this is probably going to change the link it has it links it to the sandbox developer preview so this is probably going to change to the steam page which will then most likely have it that you could just go and download it from there i'm assuming unless that's not what it means who knows um and then you can compile it from source and all the other information that it has it's very interesting to see that there is an option now for basically any developer that's like, well, I would like to see this be a part of the engine because it's just not in the engine and I don't want to use it. If you know how to code and you want it in the game engine, then there you go. You're able to do so now, which is so cool. And I think especially for people who want to give another reason to using Sandbox, here you go. It's open source in a way. Now, again, you cannot like fork this and make your own engine. This is strictly just for uh, contributing to help. So they have a, a guide too that you can see here about, you know, making changes, things like that, what it is. Uh, this is crazy. This is so cool and insane. And I think for a lot of people who are really into this sort of stuff and who like the idea sandbox, but love to see something in it. Now's your opportunity to just go as I'll have this linked in description down below to kind of just making this way better. Crazy stuff. I think tomorrow is going to be a very interesting weekly blog post. So we'll see what happens. Um, hey, man, I don't know what's going to be next. I, I would hope that maybe there's a, a big fat button that says you can now test Sandbox on Steam. I would hope that would be the next big thing. If it is, it's going to get really crazy. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much. I don't know when you guys will see this. Hopefully you'll see this on Tuesday and not Wednesday. Maybe if you're European or wherever else. Yeah, go watch this video. Uh, I will see you then next time. Goodbye.